And I knew on my very first day in statistics that I would not do well because when he started talking, uh, Dr. Robinson, he sounded like the teacher from Charlie Brown, like wah, 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 wah. I graduated from Wofford College. It's in Spartanburg, South Carolina, home of the Fighting Terriers. My parents did not put limits on where I applied, but they did make it abundantly clear that there uh, had been a certain amount of money allocated for four years of college, uh, and that if I, I plowed through that, then I was, I was on my own. So I put some restrictions on myself. I, I applied, I remember vividly, uh, George Washington University, I got in, could not afford to go. Morehouse College in Atlanta, got in, would have had to mortgage our house for me to go. Uh, Carolina, Clemson, Wofford, the Citadel, uh, Dartmouth, but I ultimately settled on Wofford um, because it was a smaller school and they gave me a fair amount of scholarship money. Loved the campus, liked the fact that it was far enough away that my parents couldn't just drop in unannounced, but it was close enough that I could get back if I needed money and or food, which was a frequent occurrence. I ended up majoring in government because at a young age, I had a bizarre fascination with American politics. And I would say that that has probably served me well. Both the Senate and the House are gonna hear from Secretary Clinton for the first time on Benghazi. What do you want to hear uh, from Secretary Clinton? Well, first of all, my junior year of college, I took an internship in Washington, D.C., and it did not take long for me to realize that I did not want to have anything to do with politics when I graduated from college. So um, I, I guess in, in that respect, the internship served its purpose, but um, it didn't you know, squash my, my interest in politics. The president made the declarations to Craig Melvin right after a tour of the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Will you denounce anti-Semitism once and for all, just to clear up the confusion? Well, I do all the time. Mind. I do all the time, and I think it's terrible. The lessons that I learned in, in how to deal with different types of people, those have been the lessons that have been uh, most valuable to me. I mean, you're in classes with, with folks who are from different socioeconomic backgrounds, different uh, religious backgrounds from all parts of the country, and you're forced to study with them, uh, to lean on them. They lean on you. They become your good friends. Uh, this is another way that college really is the great equalizer. My advice to parents of incoming freshmen, be patient, be patient. You've got to trust that, that you reared sons and daughters uh, who are good human beings, who are going to thrive because you did a good job. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.